Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, William Ruto administration has done something that neither Kenyatta government has done, either Moi government has never attempted to do, Kibaki government, you talk about Uhuru Kenyatta government, they never appointed neither their son or daughters to any government role. But it was a news yesterday that Shalin Ruto was appointed to a new role in the government by the CS for Health, Susan Nakumita, as a blood ambassador. She got an appointment letter from the Minister of Health giving her that role. And this is what part of the letter is reading. This letter is to appoint you as Kenya blood ambassador and ask that you continue to be a spokesperson to your friend, Kenyan, youth family, peers and Kenyan citizens and to engage and encourage people to give blood to save lives. From time to time, collaborate with the Kenya tissues Kenya Tissue and the Transplant Authority or partner in blood-related events including public education and resource mobilization. Uhuru hak waipe mtoto yake kazi na huyo tuni wajuzi. Kibaki came, Moi was there, Kenyatta won. But during Ruto's time, it is happening one year in office. All this is happening after we saw William Ruto asking the youth in this country to go and look for jobs abroad. Yani wewe unaambia vijana wa Kenya ya kwamba hakuna kazi Kenya hii. Kwa hiyo waondoke waende kutafuta kazi nje. Then the following day your government is appointing your daughter into a position and a role to play in the government. You may talk wapi? Wasula wako wapi wa Kenya kwanza? Hakuna kazi Kenya, but your own daughter get a job in the country. He's also a youth. A huge role to play. And that is now the face of Kenya kwanza. It was fair, like if Shalin Ruto would be running the non-government organizations to deal with other issues, you know, help the poor, the needy, orphans, with those one, she can mobilize her own resource, have her own office, look for funds, that one is making sense. But now, this one is an appointment by the government into a role. She has a position in government. A position of influence. Influence in terms of even mobilizing for resources. <laughs> Lakini wewe mkenya, unaambiwa hakuna kazi Kenya, enda Saudi Arabia tafuta kazi, enda eh, Gulf countries tafuta kazi, go to UK, go to US and all those countries. If he was serious about this, the same way this government is appointing her daughter, he should be also asking her daughter to go and look for a job somewhere else, not in this country. Remember, even when he was a deputy president, his daughter was an ambassador. And I think maybe she's still playing that role. Lakini wewe unambi waje, now you can differentiate between hustlers and the other people who are far away from hustlers but they came in the name of hustlers. Ruto is not with you. Angekua na wewe Hangerus, the minister of health to appoint her, his daughter to such kind of role or position. And Kenya are questioning also so many things to do with the issue of blood and other things. And as we continue this discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and 
you have not subscribed please consider subscribing to our channel subscribe as much thank you so much and again to all our viewers please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much and back to this discussion now still on the issue of blood donation there are many questions that Kenyans do ask why is it that even through the schools I've been seeing people giving blood the students are giving blood they donate but you find out that some of this blood according to allegation it end up in a blood bank whereby they end up selling this blood dami metolewa bure iende kwa watu lakini unapata ma hospital na wana ambao wako katika hizo idara wanauza hiyo damu even outside Kenya Hasa shalini ruto kazi yake itakuwa ni kukuja to tell us to give blood with the aim of going to sell our blood elsewhere yende Somalia na kule kwingine So there are still questions to ask about the same department when Kenyans give their blood free, why is it that that blood end up being sold outside this country to individuals? So people are also in business. Wakuja wachukue damu yako bure because wamekueleza vile utasaidia wengine wamepata maajali. You give it freely. Lakini inaenda kuuzwa. Because of that, we find some people are not comfortable even to give their blood anymore. So Janine Ruto is coming here to come and convince you as a youth to donate your blood, which might also end up being sold for someone to get money. So two things. Mbona ya pewe kazi na wakenya wengine hawana kazi na yeye si maskini bila wamesema wengine ni mahasila. She can go and run her father's private business. Kama they have hospitality industry there. Wako na ma hotel nyingi. She can be there. But wameona kuja afanye kazi hapa. Kazi yake ni kuambia watu watoe damu. Lakini hii damu bado huwa inauzwa. Maswali ambayo bado serikali na Minister of Health hawajawahi tu pea ukweli kuyauzwa. So as last we are on your own. They told us about dynasty. We never saw any of the dynasty that they were telling us appointing their own children into government role. Uru akufana hivyo. But his daughter was running, you know, her own uh, NGO. She was helping. Moi was in power. We never saw Gideon Moi getting appointed to government role. Kenyatta one was in power. Hatukuwa na huru Kenyatta akipewa kazi ya kufanya. Kibaki was in power. Hatukuwa na akipewa kina Jimmy Kibaki kazi kwa serikali wafanye. There was no such kind of things. But one year and you are seeing drama in Kenya kwanza administration. Wape miaka 5. Wape tu miaka 5. Tell me what will happen. So while they are telling you to go and search for job outside wao wenyewe wanapata kazi hapa na watoto wao na wakiharibia wakenya kazi zingine zile wangefanya hapa so it's all about them not about you and me we are on our own this appointment point to one thing that we are on our own these people are not for us for them it is all about what they benefit what benefits them and what put them somewhere to appoint or an office of influence Ndoto yake mmoja ambassador sasa mwingine pia wamesema ni blood ambassador hapa ke <laughs> So when you see Salin Ruto coming to ask you to give blood ask her how sure am I that the blood I'm giving is going to help a needy person here in Kenya How sure am I that this blood will not be sold outside kwenda kwa hizo nchi zingine at expense of me giving free na mtu mwingine anatumia hiyo damu kutengeneza pesa 
Hayo ndio maswali sasa tutaanza kuuliza. I don't know your views but let us be in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.